In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let's call to mind those times that we sing. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have prayed and sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord I God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. <coughs> o God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. 
The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were reading, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel. Praise Praise I wonder how comfortable that day was. This is my favorite line. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. It's an amazing line when you think about it. He sits down to dinner with these twelve. But who are they? One of them is about to turn him over. The others will abandon him. One will deny him outright. And right here at the table, they promise loyalty. And Judas lies to his face. And Jesus knows, and yet, he washes their feet and sits down and has dinner with them. Even to these people, these flawed people, weak in their fear and their sin, he doesn't cease to be Christ to them. This, I think, is a great, uh, a great challenge for us in that we who are baptized into Christ are also called to be Christ to those around us. Even when we don't feel like evil, we're called to never cease to be the face of Christ in an imperfect world. A great challenge to us. Also, a great comfort to us. Because we, in our fear and our sin, know that Jesus will not stop being Christ to us. And His love endures.
and for Jeremiah and Mar, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty God, we humbly ask that you hear and answer the prayers we offer through Christ. Amen.
together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God.
endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ. Amen. A reminder that tomorrow morning there is no 8 o'clock Mass. Tomorrow morning, no 8 o'clock Mass. There is scheduled, however, 9 o'clock morning prayer with Deacon Jim Lever. Okay, but no 8 o'clock Mass tomorrow. No noon Mass either tomorrow. The only Mass is tomorrow with 7.30 uh, Masses in Spanish in the Community Center and in English here in the church. Will the EM to the homebound control? May the Lord bless you and walk with you as you bring forward the body of Christ and may be in the face of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you.